Over the past 15 years or so, track saws like this have gained popularity both with woodworkers and contractors, and the market for them has really grown. These days you can buy a track saw from at least 10 different manufacturers, and more and more of them can operate on battery power. The downside to track saws is that they're expensive. You're going to spend at least $300 on any track saw you buy, and in some cases, a lot more than that. So you might have wondered, how is a track saw better than an ordinary circular saw like this that costs a fraction of the price? Well, that's a great question. And in this video, I want to give you three important reasons why. The first, not surprisingly, is cutting performance. Now all track saws, regardless of brand, are engineered to be used on these aluminum tracks, which are commonly called guide rails. And a slot in the saw's base, right here, fits over a channel in the guide rail, like this. The guide rail enables the saw to cut a perfectly straight line, simply by feeding the tool along the rail. It takes no special skill. With an ordinary circular saw like this, on the other hand, unless you guide the base of the saw along a straight edge or a shooting board of some sort, you're going to have to steer the saw along and guide the cut by eye. And that can be hard to do unless you use a circular saw all the time. These guide rails have a flexible strip running along their edge, and that boosts cutting performance in two ways. The edge of this strip sets the exact position of the blade. So when you line up the track to a tick mark on your workpiece, this is precisely where the blade will cut. There's no guesswork, and you don't have to measure any offset on the saw base. These edge strips also cover over the workpiece underneath the guide rail, and that prevents the blade from splintering the wood along the cut as it comes up and out of the workpiece. So you'll get a much cleaner cut that's on par with a quality table saw. And some saws, like this Festool TS55, has this splinter guard that wraps around the outside of the blade to reduce tear out even more. Now the second reason track saws have a leg up on circular saws is safety. Track saws are designed with a plunging mechanism. You have to engage a release and push the handle forward to expose the blade. And as soon as you let go, the blade is hidden again. With an ordinary circular saw, some amount of the blade is always exposed when the saw is set up for cutting. And that makes it somewhat less safe than a track saw whenever it's plugged in or there's a battery installed. And the best track saws have a safety feature you won't find on any ordinary circular saw. And it's this, a riving knife. The riving knife hugs the blade in back and keeps the saw kerf open during the cut. That prevents the wood from potentially pinching the back of the blade binding it and causing the saw to kick back up and out of the cut. If you've ever experienced kickback from a circular saw, you know how startling and scary that can be, not to mention potentially dangerous. But a track saw with a riving knife can prevent that from happening. That's pretty good peace of mind. The third way that track saws beat conventional circular saws is dust collection. Look at how much open area there is on the blade guard of a conventional circular saw versus a track saw. The blade is almost completely shrouded, and of course, that helps contain the dust. Track saws also have built-in dust ports that attach to dust bags, or the 35 millimeter hoses of today's dust extractors. And adding suction to the saw during cutting significantly reduces the amount of dust that ends up on the floor or floating in the air. There's never a downside to cleaner cutting. And if you've never used a track saw before, Here's how easy it is to set up and make a cut. Line up the guide rail with the cutting marks on your workpiece. Adjust the saw's depth of cut so the blade will project slightly below the workpiece when fully plunged. Then set the saw on the guide rail so it engages the channel. Press the plunge release, squeeze the trigger, and plunge the blade fully. Now, just feed the saw along the guide rail slowly and steadily to make the cut. Press the guide rail down as you go to prevent it from shifting. That's how easy it is to cut with a track saw. And the results are impressive. Even beginners can use track saws competently and well. You can learn more about track saws in the October 2022 issue of Woodworker's Journal magazine and see them at your local Rockler store or at rockler.com. I'm Chris Marshall with Woodworker's Journal and Rockler, and thanks for watching.